a speech by the guest speaker, Professor Na University in Wanda Jaha, Tanasa Watojaha Ta Jigawa, Wanda Allah Yabashi Iko Narika Wanda Makaranta, Yesa Amu Kekawa Mwakilchi, Nda Wanda Zezo Yagabata Ta Wanda Jawabaya Amada Densa, Kuma Wakili Nagari Wakili Na Al-Khairi, Shini Professor Abdus Salam Suleiman, Wanda Shima Mate Makini, Nabiu na wana jami ya federal university wacha teke na njigawa abusi Muna gaita nkadasuna ala Duwami njawabai Kumadama Gabata jawabai jawabai awari nka basaba wa abuba Ala ya maka baiwa na teka italoka chida lurada loka chi Muna atuwa ala ya baka nasara Ala ya maka gulu mawa Tu Abanda karubu Ya anzari Ari gaaru buu tama kallen dazee gabaata dhaar shirtuuranchi, kuma tna gabi rigaaya biya pas saraba, tooday gabaata dhaabu yeh deke rubuuche, yeh ay ayaa buu dazee gabaata dhaar shirtuuranchi, Allaha ka nasara. Nuruzim, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Inna alhamdulillah, nahmaduhu wa nastainuhu wa nastakfiruhu wa nauzu billah min shuroo yaa musina wa min sayyaa jaa maalna. Man yahdi Allah, huwa al-muqtadi. ومن يذل الفلان تجد له وليا مرشدا. اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت ورحمت وباركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Jika State, Alaji Muhammad Badr Abu Bakr, MONMNI, have ably represented by Alaji Mustafa Saleh Kolam, uh, senior, uh, senior Assistant, SA Religious Affairs, Jika State. Uh, Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Bauti State, Senator Bala Muhammad Abdul Qadir Kawam Bauti, and Guest of Honor. Ably represented by Honorable Commissioner of uh, Education, uh, Religious Affairs, Honorable Umar Babio Kesa, and uh, Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Yoga State. Ably represented by Malam Babagana and Kari SA Religious Affairs, Yoga State. Dr. Ilyas Hussein Jahun, Registrar for. Uh, Jigal State Polytechnic. Father of the day, Fadir of Sheikh Muhammad Athani, Hayajigar National Chairman of the Mahu Council Jibwis. The deputies 1, 2, and 3, 1, 2, Head of Administration, National Director, the representative of Emir of Ringim, Dr. Sayyidi Abu Bakr C.O.N. And other distinguished Islamic scholars from time cannot permit me to mention their names. Gentlemen of the press, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, first of all, I would like to inform this gathering that I am representing my Vice Chancellor, Professor Abdul Karim Shah Muhammad, uh, who was out of duty on a national assignment. Yes. It is my sincere pleasure to stand in your midst witnessing one of the greatest occasions a Muslim is proud to attend. This is indeed an occasion of gaining Allah's blessing, an occasion in which one gets closer to his Creator, a momentous congregation to do with the great, greatest book which carries exclusively the speech of Allah, the Quran, the last and noble revelation to mankind, a book full of verses, Revealed for guidance of mankind, Allah says in reference to the Quran, This is the book whereof there is no doubt a guidance of those who are pious and righteous persons who fear Allah much. Al Baqarah, second verse of the Baqarah. Allah further says, Verily, this Quran guides to that which is most just and right and gives glad tidings to the believers who walk this of righteousness, that they shall have a great reward. The great reward of Allah is the paradise. Quran is the speech of Allah which is not created. It is the steady guide for life and death and what comes after the death. 
reciting it attracts a Muslim a lot of reward. The Prophet ﷺ stated that verily the one who recites the Quran beautifully, smoothly and precisely, he will be in the company of novel and obedient angels. And as far as one, uh, and as for one, uh, and as for the one who recites with difficulty, stammering or stumbling through his verses, then he will have twice that reward. Sahih al Bukhari. The recitation of the Quran, understanding, uh, understanding its meaning and applying it in a daily life of the Muslim entails a number of verses. Reciting of Quran cleanses the heart as it affects the heart and purifies it from all impurities and heals it from diseases. Allah Ta'ala says, Quran chapter 10 verse 57, O mankind, there has come to you an admonition from your Lord and the healing of for the disease in your hearts and for those who believe a guidance and mercy. Learning and teaching the Quran makes one best of people. The Prophet says, the best of you are those who learn the Quran and teach it to others. Bukhari. The Quran will intercede for one who engages in reading the Quran. The, the Quran, the Prophet wasallam said, read the Quran, for verily it will come on the day of standing as an intercessor for his companions, Muslim. Reading a single letter of the Quran earns one ten rewards. Whoever reads a letter from the Book of Allah, he will have a reward, and that reward will be multiplied by ten. I am not saying uh, the I am not saying Alif Lam Mim is a letter, but I am saying that Alif is a letter, Lamun is a letter, and Mimun is also a letter. Termin. Allah Ta'ala has chosen to preserve the Qur'an in different forms, one of, the, one of which the hearts of the faithful, the hearts of the faithful. The retentive memory that, that are endowed with has, the given, uh, has given them the ability to commit the whole of the Qur'an to memory, regardless of age or, and, or gender. Young men and women of various social statuses find it easy to memorize the Qur'an. Allah Ta'ala says, and we have indeed made the Qur'an an easy to understand and remember. Indeed, a welcome development at this age of widespread of moral decadence among our young ones who are overtaken by delusive phantasm to which they dedicate most of their precious time, especially on social networks. Many of them indulge in practice alien to the teachings of the Qur'an, which negatively impact on their performance in the school and in their service to their Creator. Our youths need to be enlightened more on the need to engage in learning and memorizing the Qur'an for a successful life here, and after, here on earth and in the hereafter. Parents should advise to support those young boys and girls morally and materially and make them realize their ambitions. Governments and all institutions of learning should embark on the love tea project of guiding, th uh, of guiding these young people by inculcating in them the teaching of the Quran, the great and noble ideals of the Quran and the pure discipline the Quran upholds. It is in this regard and on the final note I, on behalf of the Vice Chancellor of Federal University, Duze, Professor Abdul Karim Sabu Muhammad, thank the Jama'atul Izalatul Bidi Awikamu to Sunnah for organizing this competition in its effort to help and guide our young ones. May Allah bless them and help them in all their endeavors. I wish, you, I wish this program a hit free and successful deliberations and competitions. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahu Akbar. Mana Gudia, Wakilim, Bastian Sala, Professorna, Wato, Federal University, Jigawa. Do say, Mona Bodia, the one that I'm not sure about the stock on China's people, the Wahazin, 
wanda shi professor Abdul Salam ya gabatar muna addu'a Allah ya saka mishi kuma ya nuru in bika godiya zuwa ga shi ba san sala professor Abdul Karim Sabo Allah ya saka muku da alkhair to akwai muhimmanni muhimman sakonni wanda za mu saurara na farko daga wakilin gwamnatin jar yobe mai malabo ne wanda ya samu kyakkyawa wakilci daya daga cikin maluma masu wazi na wannan kungiya special advisor religious affairs na jar yobe shine ustaz baba gana malin kyari shine wakilci gwamnatin na jar yobe kuma yana da mintoci yan kadan da zai gabatar da sakon shi ta fata Allah ya bada nasara ta fata mashkura